Okay, so this is the Hasbro 29 inch uh, Falcon. And um, just as a uh, disclaimer before I begin, I've never done anything like this before. Um, just seen some of the videos that I've posted already on how to do this or what I've been doing at least to create this. I have zero experience when it comes to modeling, so this is all uh, baptism by fire. But a couple things I, I wanted to go over. I just wanted to do a video on this because I could not find anybody doing a video on the cabin. And I, I've i really been researching this quite a bit. And I could have used some tutorials, but nobody has. When they've showed what the cockpit looks like when it's all finished. But I wanted to talk about what's ha what has to be done and what I've done in this case. And verify a couple of things that I heard from Shapeways. So number one is there are two supports here. Now they're gone. They had to go. They had to get uh, shaved down. I had to get rid of them on the top and the bottom. And you can see that on the bottom piece here it's left uh, two pretty big holes. And those are where the screws originally went in. And um, basically I'll fill those in with a uh, modeling clay and then afterwards I'll probably put some uh, cement glue in there and then just uh, sand it down and then paint all the inside here and plus on the top. I'll talk about a little bit more of that in a minute. One of the things I, I, I found out when I was doing some research is somebody had posted a video where they were in the process of doing their Falcon and said that Shapeways was coming out with a long cone and the long cone would not require you, at least in the video that's what they were told, would not require you to have to cut these off. And the fact of the matter is, is that that's absolutely not true. I did get the long cone and the long cabin and I contacted Shapeways about that um, and used the reference material as, as part of my question and they said no, uh, you no matter what cone you get, no matter what cabin you use, you have to cut those. So about cutting them, just to let you know, I ended up using my Dremel and I actually used this uh, sanding bit. So if you have a sanding bit similar to this, it was magic. Just moving this, massaging it to the point that these were uh, standing posts in here and I just massaged it. And when I was done, it was just uh, flat. It was the easiest way to do it, okay? So I highly recommend that if you're going to go that route, the sanding bit would be great. Now, one of the things you'll notice over here is, is that there's a little piece that was sticking out, a little piece of plastic that was part of a support here. I actually left that, and it's a great marker point as to where this cabin back wall should probably be resting, okay? So when I've tested the assembly and everything, um, this pretty much is a good marking point for that. Um, one of the things that I also have with this is that just to show you in the in the long cabin here, is that there is the um, the cockpit itself, and uh, this has the controls and everything. And I've painted this now just to share with you the uh, the shorter version. I believe one of these uh, differences is going to be the size of this cabin component here. And I have seen in the shorter one people actually just butting this up against the side here and then fix, fixing something like this in here and then the cone going on top of it. I prefer to go the, the deep end um, it just because it's a little bit more of what the model is supposed to look like, at least in the film, and uh, recess that back in here. Okay. Now, another thing to note about this is that if you go the Shapeways route with getting the cones, etc., you'll see that there's two little pieces. You probably can't see them in the video because of the lighting, uh, but there's two little pieces that are almost like little supports that go in there. They're little guides to, to put that in that uh, that plateau in, in here, that little platform. And um, what you'll want to do is arrange it so it goes where you don't see anything below the bottom. So what I mean by that is this, is that I'm not going to see you know something like this. I want to see it where it's resting on this like this. Now, the reason why that's going to be important is if you're planning to light the inside, you don't want any light to seep out like this, so you want to make sure that that's down below and everything's going to be covered. So especially if you're using uh, an LED bulb to put in there. I might use fiber optics, but I've seen some people do it with LEDs, so I prefer to go that route underneath. Um, might do the fiber optics through here, although I'd really prefer not to, but I don't see having a choice because in the back, when I put this in here, um, there's going to be some light spillage coming through, okay, I, if, I, if I just do an LED back here. Unless I uh, vent this up or, or sort of insulate it somehow in here where, you know, I'm not going to see that, but that's going to be highly unlikely. So I'll probably go the uh, the LED, the, uh, um, the fiber optic route, but I'm going to explore both options. 
Now, one of the things I wanted to mention in this is that I did, when you buy this back piece here, you also get this part that goes on top. So basically it's got little controls and buttons and somehow you can actually put some fiber optics in here too. But one of the things I've elected to do with this, I've seen people use this and it seems to have worked out fine for them, but it's not working out fine for me and I'll explain why. It's because of this piece over here and over here, okay? Mainly probably because of this over here as well because this sticks down a little bit. It's a little bit uh, more of a nudge down. This is the original uh, component to house the uh, the dome on, okay? So you can see it fits on something like this and it, it fits great. Now, what I like about wanting to keep these is because it's also on the bottom, okay? Having this fit on there along with the bottom, the way the original configuration is going to be is a great substitute for losing your supports, okay? Because it clamps it on really tight, okay? It's made to fit, so it's perfect. Now, cutting this away would allow me to put this in, okay? The only problem is, is that keeping this makes this a difficult fit. Now, here's the thing. You really don't need this because once you see all of this put together with the cabin, everything's really tight. This is backlit. There's five seats, or sorry, four seats in here rather with the action figures, the little miniatures that are going in there. It's a really tight fit. It's very, very difficult for you to even see any of the detail that's taking place across the top here that's been put in there. So um, my advice is, is that, well, definitely if you're a novice like me, you don't want to take these kind of risks because once you cut this stuff, it's over. So, um, you know, if you're more experienced, you may want to be a little bit more adventurous, but I would just basically suggest that you keep these on. At least try it first. I mean, if it doesn't work for you and you decide that you want to go the full Monty, then just basically throw this in afterwards and then just do whatever you need to do and give it a work-see. But the, uh, I, I, my experience in, in the practical test of putting this together uh, has been fine. The only um, challenge that I'm having, and it may be a little bit of a disappointment, I don't know if I'll be able to do it, is that I did have the original two docking lights that were here. And now these are on the inside of the cabin. I'm gonna. These are the original lights. There's absolutely no way that those are gonna be able to stay there uh, on the side unless I figure something out. And that's gonna be a, a, a tricky, a tricky adventure. I might be able to use some thicker fob, fiber optic and put that in there rather than the LEDs. I'll just have to figure it out. But anyways, um, enough about this. Uh, ultimately, I just wanted to share uh, what I've learned and. Um, you know, good, bad, or indifferent. I'm sure everybody has different ways of doing some things, but I definitely want to do a quick video and show you this as to what you can expect from having to work with the uh, the cabin components. And, uh, you, you know, for m my own interest and everybody else's who may be watching the video, if you've done this or you have any recommendations, would love to see them in the comments down below. And uh, again, thanks to everybody who's been posting their videos. They've been really inspirational and uh, really helpful in, uh, in working on some of the techniques with the Falcons. So uh, I'll see you in the next video, and I'll let you know how the uh, development's going when I get all this put together. Thanks.